We start from the beginning. We finish the circle. Now again, we read portion Bereshit from the beginning. And what is the picture that we have about this world when we read the Torah? First thing is, we know that there is a creator. Only one. That he created the whole world. Second is that he made this world paradise. Everything was ready. Everything a man need, he has in this world. The only question is if he follows the instructions. What were the instructions for the man? Look, I've put you here in paradise make it better and preserve what you do don't run too fast just make this everything flower use all what i gave you but listen to what i tell you this is the picture this world need to be paradise because the beginning was paradise but then our picture when we read the whole portion is that even though it can be and it was paradise there is a potential in this world that the men who make this paradise not a paradise and he will be thrown out of paradise it starts with Eve and Adam that they didn't follow the instruction they wanted to be like God. They listened to the words of the bad evil, which symbolized by the snake, who tells them, Oh, who is God? You can listen to me. You be like him. And of course, it becomes much terrible when it comes to the next generation. When the son of Cain, of Adam and Eve, Cain, he murdered his brother. Wow. Who could imagine? Yeah. You see what is the picture of this reality? When you read the first portion. Is that there is a paradise. It starts in the beginning from paradise. But a man can ruin everything. A man can even be a murderer. Wow. Now, if you have this picture, you might say, wow, so this world has no chance. Where is the belief that we will go back? No, you have to read the whole Torah. Don't stop in Genesis. Then you meet the words of the prophets. You meet the words of Moshe Rabbeinu later on. He promises one day you will make this world again paradise and you know what you will make this world even better than what it was because the whole history is to learn that a man can do evil terrible things as kind but also the same human being can make a repentance and be righteous people and they will win at the end, the good will win. And as we see, the beginning of the history, after they were thrown out of paradise, it seems like all collapse. And in the days of Noah, Hashem brings the water because the situation is so terrible. But then Avraham Avinu came. And then the good starts to raise. And we sure... We know it for sure if we read the prophets that at the end we'll go make this world paradise. It's not a metaphor. This world, what we see, can be a place that everyone will have his own needs. People will recognize the name of Hashem. People will obey the good orders of Hashem. We sure, because we were promised by Hashem that. Paradise is part of life here. 
So this is our picture of life. It starts from the beginning. We know that this world can collapse, but the end of the history, we have full confidence that we'll make again this world paradise. And it depends on us. If we do it fast, we'll be faster. If we don't do our work, we'll take longer and we'll suffer. So Bezat Hashem, we want it to be fast, that this world will be paradise again. Shabbat Shalom.